here racing at Palmavella. We're on board the uh, Wally Tento Galatea. It's a 100 foot Rockle Pew designed uh, maxi. Uh, I sail on this boat as a navigator. Um, I've got uh, about 25 years of experience now as a navigator. I've been around the world six times. Uh, I've been involved in a couple of America's Cup campaigns. So one of the big uh, upgrades over the winter, which we're excited about for 2024, is the water ballast system. So the IRC, the rating rule that we sail under, made a change to uh, allow water ballast systems. A lot of boats have perceived a good rating advantage by incorporating these ballast systems. Historically, water ballast has been mainly for offshore boats because typically it's very slow to fill, transfer and empty the tanks. Now with this latest generation system, we're out to able to fill the water very, very quickly. Several tons of water in, in around a minute and uh, transferring tack to tack takes uh, less than five seconds. Down here, we've got the two pumps, which are hydraulically actuated. You can see here the manifold that controls the water, the direction it's going to one of the two tanks on either side and the big transfer tubes in the middle. All the valves are uh, pneumatically operated which makes for a very lightweight, very efficient system. Something that can be remotely operated on deck, either using a uh, computer interface or, uh, or some buttons on deck. It's very easy to operate and uh, very automated. In any maneuver, the sequence of valves and, uh, and scoops that need to be opened and closed is all uh, programmed in and, and done automatically. Here we can see the, uh, the user interface that we use during racing. It's uh, very simple, operated through a web page, and uh, it's as simple as touch control. We can activate the ballast system, pull up the controls, and uh, select the tanks, fill, empty, and, uh, and transfer.